Hello everybody, Stan from HomeForZoo.com um, Keeping in trend with last week, the uh, talking bollocks on a bike I've decided, uh, other than just talk about like random crap and this and that I'll see if I can get a few um, like so, sort of like reviews but more just, just my opinion, my thoughts uh, If you remember a few weeks ago I, uh, I picked up a tub of Extend and some BSN Amino X it's actually my second tub of Extend. I um, I ended up buying this one here, this raspberry blue one. I tried the watermelon madness as well. Um, as far as this product goes, it seems it's got quite a lot of uh, controversy behind it and uh, a lot of different differing opinions. Um, I'm not going to bother ed editing this in there. Uh, so if I start jumbling my words up and stuff, that's because you know I do a lot of edits. Um, for me, all I'm going to say about Extend is that I don't really believe it has any effect on my training in respect to recovery times or when I train fasted, um, I don't feel it makes any difference. Uh, I'm just going to take the scoop out because it's noisy. Um, I'll take that out as well. I don't feel that it does anything for me in that sense. Um, I know a lot of people really do uh, believe in this product and believe that by taking this product it helps them to, to grind out a good workout, perform better uh, or last longer. Um, my opinion on things like this, especially how they're, um, they're marketed, like you'll notice you have people, um, advertisements that say things like, you only you can only train for an hour. If you train for more than an hour, you're overtraining, blah, blah, blah. But, if you use our intra workout product, Extend, then you'll be able to train longer. You'll be able to train for two hours, yeah. Now, to me, I just think, what about shit? But, like you say, science behind it and all that crap about B, uh, branch chain amino acids being able to prevent muscle catabolism and all that stuff. Again, I just don't really buy into it. I just think, eat well, do your training, see results, be consistent sort of thing. Um, one thing I will say about these though, the watermelon flavour is absolutely amazing. It tastes just like drinking watermelon juice. Now, I had a bit of, like I said, I had a bit of controversy on the Facebook page. People were saying like, why would you drink that? Why? It's a waste of money, blah, 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 blah. Now, I'm not saying that people should go out and buy this but what I will say is that if you are using it and you and you think personally that it helps you out um, and helps you through your workouts and carry on taking it I would probably buy another tub of the watermelon one purely for the fact that I like the taste of it I enjoy I enjoy the taste of it I'm, I was having it uh, in the fasted window which uh, another interesting thing was brought up by a YouTube member um, so I think it's called W R R Rust or something like that. Uh, w D R Rust. It's sort of like W R R U S T or something like that. Or Rust. I don't know. But he brought up about the branched chain amino acids regarding the um, the separate profile, the separate acids themselves, and the amount of calories they have. Um, leucine being the highest one. I think he said something about uh, six and a half calories per gram of leucine. So. Uh, the whole thing about these being this being zero calories is all to do with um, marketing loopholes and being able to get around it. Um, it's like, like I say, I mean, I was drinking it during the fasted state, and I still seeing great results with IF as I did before. So I don't think it's not worth. I don't think it's making the difference. So I would carry on drinking it. Like I say, the watermelon tastes amazing. It's sweet. Um, I really enjoy it, so I'll probably end up buying another tub. At the moment, I'm running the Amino X. Um, not really finding it as nice as these. One thing I will say about this though, beneficial thing, is obviously it's not just an amino acid um, drink. It's got uh, potassium in there and a load of other electrolytes like sodium uh, and whatnot. And um, I found that I've not been getting as many cramps. I usually get quite. I'm, I'm really out of breath. And uh, I, uh, I don't get cramps as much. 
Now, I'm probably, I don't eat that many bananas to be honest, I'm not a big fan. So I'm probably deficient in, in potassium or maybe even sodium, although I do eat quite a lot of biltong. So I probably get enough sodium from that. So my bet is it's going to be potassium. Now, I would probably just say like, uh, it's beneficial for me in that sense, but then again you could turn around and say, eat a banana every day instead. Well, it's, it's what you want to do in it, so there you go. But for me, my thoughts on Extend, if you think it's helping you out, and it's doing you favours in the gym, keep buying it, and don't care what anybody else thinks. Me personally, I don't think it has any effect. I don't think it has any performance enhancing effects, but I will say, I've not been cramping up as much. Recovery wise, I don't think it does anything for me. I'm just recovering at the same level as normal. Uh, I'm having to back the load off, I know I'm cutting, but it's, uh, I don't feel it does any difference, so there you go.